Hello everyone, welcome. I don't say this lightly. After 46 years on this island, I've seen a lot. But this evening the residents have to be heard. Rhea has been sinking into a swamp of hiring, firing, vanishings, not answering questions. It's not known who is here, who's actually in person five days a week, who's running the island. It's a great mystery. Aside from newsletters from the second floor, we hear little of what is actually happening of the administration for the Public Benefit Corporation. Uh, Brian and Amanda are wonderful. They are the most responsive people to this community. You, the executives, have shamefully cut the board members out of the picture when you are confronted, you go to bunkers, to the bunkers and hide. You have staff who try to serve the community as long as they stay under the radar. Our public safety department has had too many incidents of abusive behavior towards the residents who want to ride the tram elevator. Your new officers have not been taught what is painted on the vehicles. Courtesy, respect, and professionalism. I don't want to tell you of the, my poll worker who came and was 82 years old and was told she had to get on the back of the line because she, she, it didn't count she was 82 years old and a resident. And the, the public safety officer put his foot in the door so she could not get on the tram. Well, she won that one. It is time to learn community respect and not bully our elderly and special needs residents at the tram elevator. This abusive behavior gets more publicity and makes it always putting you on the defensive. You are promoting someone tonight who refuses to talk to the community and the staff is scared of this person. And this is the person who you want to run this island. This will continue in our, will this continue in administration and absentia or do nothing for the community who live here. This is our community. I want all our board members to be heard and listened to because we are here 24 seven. You're the hired help. And we're the people that have paid are in aggravation and exhaustion to the last few years. We do not need this. We need an administration that cares about the community they work for, or else they're welcome. The administration is welcome to leave, and we'll get new people. Thank you. transit today. I think we've all learned in this room for the last two months how important transit is to us. And there's some very simple things that could be done by RIOC to help make it just that little bit less difficult. Uh, the thing I'm talking about specifically now is getting information on our phones about where the various transit options are. I'm told I can't call this Rita the Roosevelt Island Transit app because the Tennis Association has Reef already. But in my mind, the picture here is a very simple app that RIOC could produce, which shows us the bus location and times the tram times, the MTA could get very easily get you feeds for the subway timing, and the ferry time could go there. And the fifth idea could be just some service alerts from you. But when I first came to this island only three years ago, there was a very uh, simple app that sort of somehow showed where the bus was part-time and then it stopped working. It should not be hard for some organization like RIOC to put transponders on the buses or turn them on if you haven't already. They're not expensive. I went online and Googled it. 50 bucks a month per transponder. So for a few thousand dollars, we can have bus times, bus locations, and all the transit on our phone. It's especially important now during the period when we line having a 20 minute wait for the F shuttle, it's good to know when the bus is coming. So it's a request to real, please do something like this uh, for the benefit of the public. Thank you. Uh, good evening, and uh, it's nice to see uh, that our president and CEO is healthy and has survived all the barrage of uh, community pressure that unfortunately had him unable to function over the last few months. Having said that, the question I had is a question I've asked before, but the background to it is as simple as this. This community has very limited parking space. And about a year and a half ago, suddenly four parking spaces on Main Street were appropriated. And a sign was put up saying, reserve, you cannot park here during the day, all right? And this continued for right up to today. Now, what's made it worse is after having asked 
who these parking spaces were, and what I was told it was for the president of this organization, and these spaces were commandeered. Now, in the 32 years I've lived here, not one leader of this, or of this community has ever demanded parking space from this limited availability of spaces. They either parked in Watergate like the rest of us and walked, which is good, it's good for your health, really stress, among other things. Uh, they walked or they took public transportation. So in pursuit of this, I, I raised this question at a community meeting, and uh, the question I asked was, why this? And the answer was given, and I say this respectfully, Chief Brown and the gentleman who was the PR person who was no longer to be seen, both came back with the same answer, which was, unquote, don't you know that every president in America gets a parking spot? And I'm a vanity consultant, I worked in the big and small company all over the country, all over the world. But this one was new to me, and uh, Mr. Chief Brown, was that correct? That's what you said to me. Which was, every, don't you know that every president in America gets a parking spot? All said and done, and I'm going to end. In the last two months, our president was not to be seen, you know, and they walk, right? So be it. But these four parking spots are still reserved. And the truth is, many of us have observed this over the last two years. There is a significant amount of time when nobody parks there. So I asked this board, A, is this a board mandate that every pre based on this quote, that every president of America deserves a parking spot? Did the board mandate this? That's the first question. And number two, does the board agree with this? And number three, should four parking spots be kept unoccupied or reserved, but the rest of the community doesn't get an apartment. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you.